sure that you've heard the phrase before, practice makes perfect. Of course, you also know that in order to get really good at something, you need to practice the application of that skill. It's not enough to just learn it in theory. The same applies to learning English. In order to increase your fluency in a language, you need to practice, practice, practice. However, the problem is that it often feels difficult to practice when you don't know others that speak English. Never fear. Here are eight fantastic strategies to practice speaking English at home on your time. Number one, learn alongside your family. Your family is a wonderful resource for you. Ask yourself, is anyone else in my family learning English? Would anyone else in my family benefit from learning English? Does anyone else already speak English? If the answer to any one of these questions is yes, then perfect. You already have a perfect practice partner at home. Ask them to be patient with you and not judge your language skills so that you can quickly get better. Then set a goal for yourself. Try to start with something like, for half an hour every day, I will only speak English. Then try to go out of your way to speak to that person in English. If their English skills are better than yours, ask them for positive and constructive feedback and assistance with your own English. After you feel more comfortable, change your goal to one hour, then two hours, three hours, etc. until you feel more and more confident in speaking English at home. It will be a lot of work, but it will pay off as you notice yourself feeling more confident speaking English. As a bonus, your daily life includes a variety of circumstances, and the more you push yourself to speak English in these different circumstances, the more vocabulary you will get to practice. Option number two, practice with children. This suggestion may coincide with number one. However, it doesn't have to. If you live in an area where people speak English, why not see if you can spend some time with a neighbor's child? This can benefit the neighbor because every parent needs a break sometimes, but it can also be a huge benefit to you to practice your language skills. Children are naturally non-judgmental, which can make it feel easier to practice speaking in a second or third language. To be honest, the child doesn't even need to be able to talk. Speaking out loud to a baby can help you practice your English skills because you are still speaking out loud and they will never make fun of you for making mistakes. As you get to know the child more, you will find that most older children also like to talk and share stories, but they may not always get a lot of time to do so with an adult. If they find a friend who will listen to them and ask questions, they will likely be quite willing to talk. This benefits you for a couple of reasons. Number one, it helps you to improve your listening abilities and gives you plenty of listening practice. Number two, children often use simpler vocabulary, which may help you with comprehension. Of course, there is also number three, you will need to respond, which helps your speaking skills. If you don't have a neighbor with children, you can also try to volunteer with children, find a friend with children, or even just head to the local playground and try to catch a few minutes with a child there. Just make sure that the parents are okay with you talking to their child. Number three, use a mirror. Have you been watching the videos that ESL Universe has been posting on YouTube? If so, hopefully you have been spending some time practicing each of the individual sounds as they are taught. One of the best ways to make sure you are using the correct mouth positioning when making these sounds is to use a mirror. Although it may feel awkward to begin with, you will soon notice the fast improvements you make in your pronunciation. Number four, watch some TV. Although watching TV is usually a passive event, hearing conversations in English is helpful for someone who is trying to learn a language. However, there are several ways that you can make this strategy work even better for you. First, 
Turn off subtitles in your language and turn them on in English. This way you can read as well as hear the words being spoken. Once you feel confident in your comprehension, try to test your listening skills by turning off the subtitles entirely and focus on understanding what is happening just by listening. If you really want to improve your conversational abilities quickly, another great option to use is the pause button. Choose a character and when they speak, pause the show and repeat what they said in the same intonation that they said it. Number five, watch ESL Universe's videos. If you haven't started watching ESL Universe's videos yet, now is a great time to start. Although it can feel very basic, especially if you are already feeling somewhat fluent in the language, starting with the correct pronunciation at the most basic sound level is one of the best ways to improve your accent overall. If you want, you can use several of these techniques at once too. Have a mirror beside you when you are repeating sounds and words, and when I am speaking, pause the video and try to repeat what I say. As videos continue to be posted, you will be amazed to see how they build on each other to quickly reduce your accent and improve your English skills. Number six, read a book. Do you like to read? Even if you don't want to pick up a novel to read, there are many other things that you can read in English that can improve your vocabulary and grammar without you even knowing it. Try something simple to start like ESL Universe's blog post or some children's books. Next, transition into reading something that you often read anyways, but do it in English. For example, if you like to read the news, start reading it in English. Set your website browser settings to English and scroll through Facebook in English. Of course, if you do like reading novels, try to find a book that you already love and then read it in English. If you aren't sure of what to try, Harry Potter uses relatively plain English, which makes it easier to understand. Number seven, listen to music or audiobooks. Why turn down any opportunities to improve your language skills? Next time you go for a walk, run, or drive, fill your music player with English songs or try an audiobook. Make sure that you focus on what is being said as both music and audiobooks can actually contribute to your vocabulary. With that being said, you may want to focus a bit less on grammar in songs as rules are often bent to meet the artist's styles. Number eight, take a conversation class with ESL Universe. If you still feel that you would like more focused practice with speaking and listening to English, take one of ESL Universe's classes to have the opportunity to practice using the language in a great setting. Take advantage of getting to know other learners and having a native English speaker to guide your conversation and answer specific questions that come up along the way. You can take group conversation classes for a more natural group environment, or you can book a one-on-one -on -one time slot for a focused speaking session just with you. There you have it, eight great ways to practice your English skills without even leaving your home. Do you have any other ideas that have worked for you on your learning journey? Tell us about them in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media to get more tips every day.